the Scion V2 from Inokin. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Vic McKay back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Scion V2 from Inokin, their brand new sub-tank, second version of their big cloudy sub-tank, the Scion. Um, what has changed? What has changed? What is new with this version? Okay, so it uh, comes with two new coil heads, uh, a 0.25 coil head, which is 100 to 200 watts recommended, and a 0.5 coil head, which is 70 to 110 watts recommended. Um, it has a brand new top fill feature. Um, the top fill of the V1 was... Um, highly derided in some parts you know it was a little bit fiddly they've gone with a brand new traditional uh, push fill thing uh, which is very good it's also got a completely re-devised airflow which I will show you down low and uh, as always going to be available in a range of colours uh, it's cloudier than ever before and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's new and improved uh, throughout let's go down low have a little look at this and then we'll come back up top see you in a sec okay guys here we are up close with this scion v2 from inokin uh, classic inokin packaging this product contains nicotine which is highly addictive it doesn't contain nicotine and it is not highly addictive so there we go uh, but they do have to put that on bless them uh, scion 2 you can see it's got the two coil heads here 0 0.28 100 to 200 watts and 0 0.5 70 to 110 watts um, this appears to be the rainbow one. Let's slide it out. Uh, this isn't the one I've been using on video, but uh, this is a brand new one. It's nice and clean to show you everything. You get your tank. We'll come back to that. You get a spare coil head. This is the 70 to 110 watt coil head. Uh, that is what that one looks like there. Three coils going on in there. Uh, and I'm really liking the vape on this one. Uh, very nice indeed you also get a spare glass tank which is good and there's some spares in there as well uh, it's got this extra uh, drip tip in there as well and yeah there you've got your glass spare glass tank which is good underneath you've got your spare o-rings and uh, manuals and stuff like that and this is the tank this is the Scion V2 now when you get it um, in uh, modern style uh, to be TPD compliant it comes with if I can uh, get this open comes with uh, this uh, bung inside this rubber bung and uh, you can pull this away and, uh, and what that is doing is it's limiting the capacity down to 2 mil as soon as you take that out and throw it away uh, it takes the capacity up to 3.5 um, so that's what the deal is with that, that's what you're meant to do with that if you've got this and you're confused. Oh, let's try and get this back together. Okay, so uh, the changes, got Scion written along to the top here, Inokin there. You've also got this little arrow there, I hope you can see that. Basically push on that arrow there and that is your lovely top fill. Works perfectly, seamlessly, no issues at all with that. You've also got this drip tip. Now unfortunately, although this is very goon size, goon, my goon tips are not fitting in here. Uh, so that's a thing. But uh, yeah, it comes with a big wide bar drip tip on it anyway. So there we go, happy days. Um, moving down the big glass section here, we have the next change they made to this, uh, uh, the airflow. Now the airflow actually clicks, it's now in set uh, click separations, before it was a sort of free, free spinning thing. Um, I like it, I like this. It uh, very quickly allows you to adjust how you like it and in set things, so it's less likely to turn and spin of its own volition and change. I really like that, it's really nice. Not only that, it looks a bit more beveled, it looks a bit more smooth and it certainly vapes smoother it's quieter and smoother than the scion v1 was i really like the airflow on this new tank looking down at the 510 pin here do not use this on a mech or any hybrid device uh, that is a that is not a protruding pin at all is it uh, so yeah do not use it on those things if we unscrew from the base here 
you can see this is the uh, 100 to 200 watt coil and uh, that is a big wide thing big wide thing lots of cotton around the side but uh, a huge parallel coil in there huge 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 I could uh, almost get my finger in that coil that's how wide it is absolutely massive and uh, that's what allows you to have that crazy high wattage the airflow can whiz through there uh, obviously to replace the coil head you just take this off you just unscrew this from the deck put it back on like this and you're good to go very very nice uh, very, very nice easy to clean as well it all comes apart easy to swap the glass if you break it or anything like that uh, very nice o-rings holding it all in place really good build quality as always from Inakin very nice indeed so there we go the Scion V2 from Inakin let's go back up top okay guys that was the Scion V2 down low as you can see, you know, that vape just there, it is a cloudy, cloudy tank. The Scion V1 was intended to be a cloudy, cloudy tank, but for me, at really high wattage, I found that that could not keep up with the wicking. Um, that is not the case this time. It seems to be able to handle scary wattage. Scary wattage it is keeping up with clouds and uh, flavour. You know, I'm not getting any dry hits, nor am I getting any leaking with either coil head. Speaking of the coil heads, uh, if we want to get into it, I much prefer the 0.5 coil head, the 70 to 110 watt coil head, partly because of the wattage range that I prefer to vape at, but also just the whole design of that coil head. So the 0.5 coil head has uh, three coils, so it has three little holes through the tank, through the center of the coil head, whereas the 100 to 200 watt coil head is one huge 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 coil uh, and the air just goes straight up through there I find the flavor lacking on that design of coil head no matter who's making the coil I've never got on with that style of coil head that huge 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 hole I just think it doesn't create good flavor doing it like that it just makes it insanely airy um, so I, I far by far prefer the 0.5 coil heads both are available the um, 0.25 coil head that's 100 to 200 watts it really can do that haven't gone as high as 200 watts but I've gone like 140 150 and it is actually keeping up with that and uh, is working really well um, right now I'm using the 0.5 head uh, 80 watts since like this really nice quick vape very short vape uh, but still as you can see clouds for days um, and uh, yeah, it's working a treat. Um, pros and cons. Uh, I would say the tank is a big improvement on the Scion V1. The top fill is better. The coil heads are better. The airflow is better as well. It's smoother. It's quieter. It feels better made. It feels really sturdy. In some ways, I think it sort of looks a bit better as well. Um, you know, all sub tanks look very similar, but this one just seems to have a nice sort of look to it. 24 mil wide, 3.5 mil capacity. Um, yeah, so it does have a lot of good things going for it. If I was to get into the negatives, there's a few, a couple of things that I'll go with on this. Um, the flavour on the um, 100 to 200 watt coil head could be better, in my opinion. I will say that. Um, also, the drip tip. I'm pretty sure the intention of this drip tip, from what I've read on their site. I'm pretty sure the intention of this drip tip was to be goon fitting, goon size. It talks about being able to use your own drip tips, your own wide bore drip tips, your big drip tips. Um, and it's it's so close to being goon size, but none of the goon drip tips I've tried have fitted it. Um, so I'm going to list that as a negative. This should fit goon tips. That should be part of the design. Um, I don't have a problem with the drip tip that comes on it. I'm happy with the drip tips on it, but I think it's meant to fit goon tips and it doesn't. Not the ones I've tried for sure. Um, so that's a thing that's a thing um beyond that though beyond that uh i think it's a solid good sub tank it's a solid sub tank if this tank comes in a kit with in Inakin's next big high wattage device uh whatever that may be uh you know it won't be a throwaway tank it'll be a solid part of the kit it will be very useful and good i think the 0.5 heads are really nice i like vaping around 80 watts with these coil heads and uh the longevity on them seems good. Uh, the, the capacity seems fine, 3.5 mil capacity. 
Also, I think it's really good that they've got that TPD workaround with a bit of rubber that you pull out. Um, so they've nailed all that stuff this time. Capacity feels good. Uh, the workaround is good, so it is going to be TPD compliant. Uh, flavor is good with a 0.5 head. I like the new top fill. I like the new airflow. Um, I think they've done a good job overall with this tank. Just a couple of little negatives to consider. Overall, a solid, solid tank. Um, not bad at all. I'm going to keep vaping it uh, for now. Really good job uh, as an upgrade from the Scion V1. Uh, so, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to the sponsor of this video, usedvape.com. Check them out. Great community site. Uh, link in the description to them. Go and have a peek. I've been Vaping the Vic. Thank you very much for watching.